Hello and welcome back to Olo Tita. Welcome back to Wholeness. I'm Krista Shirley, and in today's video, we're going to look at four wide-legged forward folding postures in the Ashtanga Yoga standing sequence, Prasarita Padottarasana A through D. These are four postures I really love to work with on a daily basis because they help to really bring more balance into my body when there is imbalance. And because you live in a body, you are always working to find balance. And these poses help you find a foundational strength and a real connection to yourself and the floor, helping you understand gravity and your relationship to it a little bit better. So I look forward to exploring all of this in today's video on Prasarita of Bharatarasana A through D. If you are interested in some practice aids as you work in your home-based practice, please do check out olotita.com and you'll find under our shop section, practice cards, as well as a poster that demonstrates the sequence of postures. With every one of these videos that we produce, we do number them in the description box. This is video eight, nine, 10, 11. But as you're building your home-based practice and you want those practice aids, they're there for you. So check out olotita.com. Inhale, turn to your right hands to your hips, feet about five feet apart. Exhale, hinge from your hips and slowly start to fold forward with your knees bent working to get your hands to the floor in between your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale and fold. Five breaths will rest in this posture. Deep inhales and exhales from your throat through your nose. You're working to gently pull the crown of your head towards the floor. You're working to push down into your feet as well as pushing out, pressing your tailbone towards the ceiling. Go ahead and keep your knees bent in this first modification. Feel that tension, that opposition of force from your hips through your feet. Pressing your hands down and forward, pushing your feet down and out, pressing your tailbone up, pulling your head towards the floor, eyes wide open, looking towards your nose. Deep, steady breaths. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, place your hands on your hips, but stay folded. Inhale, slowly stand all the way up with a straight back. Exhale there. Prasarita Padatarasana B. Inhale, lengthen your spine, extend your arms out wide. Exhale, bring your hands back to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. As you begin to exhale, hinge from your hips, keeping your knees slightly bent, pulling your elbows backwards. Keep lifting your chin forward so you maintain that position of your cervical spine. Keeping your knees bent, really find that perfect point of tension from your feet to your glutes and tailbone. Feel that place where you feel effort, but you still feel strength and control. You're squeezing your back together, pulling your elbows towards the ceiling. You're pulling the crown of your head forward, really working with your body, creating all these different oppositions of force called tensegrity. We'll talk about a lot more next week. Inhale, body rise. Exhale there. C. Inhale, extend your arms, lengthen your spine. Exhale, interlace your fingers together, palms together behind you. Inhale, lengthen your spine, stretch your hands down. As you exhale, hinging from the hips, for modification one, keep those knees bent as you do so. Really feel your feet, feel your hips and your glutes. You're squeezing your palms. You're letting your body extend, not round. Keep pulling the crown of your head forward. Keep squeezing your palms together as you interlace those fingers. Keep those knees bent. Really focus on pressing down and out through the feet while pressing the tailbone up, and that will help to dictate how much you let your legs straighten. Your back is flat. Your head is pulling forward. Palms are pressing strongly. You're looking down the tip of your nose, Nasagra Dristi. As you breathe and push and feel that opposition, you can work to go deeper in this posture by slowly working to straighten those legs. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, hands to your hips. Prasarita Padottarasana D. 
Inhale, hands at your hips, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinging from the hips, knees are slightly bent, fold forward, and then grab your big toes with your peace fingers and thumbs, still looking forward with a flat back. Inhale again, extend your spine here. On your exhale, begin to bend your elbows out, pull your toes forward with your gripped fingers. Push down and out through those feet as you press up through your tailbone. Pull the crown of your head towards the floor in front of you. Your eyes are wide open. Your breath is steady. As you take this modification, really connect to all those points of opposition or tensegrity. Gripping through your fingers as you pull your toes forward while at the same time pushing down and out through your feet. Squeeze your back muscles together as you bend your elbows and pull your fingers forward. Pushing down and out through your feet as you press your tailbone up. Feel every bit of that. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, hands to your hips, but stay folded forward. Inhale, body rise. And exhale, return back to Samastitihi, equal standing posture at the front of your mat. Practice makes perfect, so we're going to do this two more times together today. Inhale, turn to your right, hands to your hips, feet about five feet apart. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from your hips with a flat back. Bring your palms to the floor in line with your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your head. Exhale, slowly fold forward. You're pushing your hands down and forward into the floor in front of you as you push your feet down and out. That creates a lot of tensegrity or opposition of force. By also working to press your tailbone up, you're creating another layer of opposition. Same thing by tractioning your head forward towards the floor. Really connect to these points of opposition or tensegrity. They're here to help keep your body safely aligned. Make sure you don't go too deep in your stretches. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands to your hips. Stay there. Inhale, body rise. Come all the way up with a flat back. And exhale. Prasarita Padottarasana B. Inhale, extend your arms, lengthen your spine. Exhale, return your hands back to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine again. And exhale, begin hinging from your hips, folding forward with a nice straight back. Chin is lifted to help keep your cervical spine in perfect alignment. Once you folded forward, Maybe your knees are bent, maybe your legs are straight. Nonetheless, you're working with these oppositions of pressing through your feet, through your tailbone, squeezing your back muscles to keep your chest open and your shoulders open, continuing to slightly arch that neck as you traction it forward, working with gravity and your body to maintain this beautiful posture. Deep, steady breath, strong bandhas. Inhale, body rise. Exhale. C. Inhale, extend your arms, lengthen your spine, stand up tall. Exhale, interlace your fingers together, palms pressing together behind your body. Inhale again, lengthen your spine as you pull your hands down towards the floor. And exhale, hinging from your hips, taking those arms overhead with you as you fold. It's more than okay to bend your knees because it helps you find your proprioceptive space. Helps make sure you're not overstretching those hamstrings. Find those points of tension and opposition and work with them and in them. Keep squeezing your palms together as you keep working to squeeze your back muscles and open your chest. Keep tractioning your head towards the floor, pushing through your feet and pressing your tailbone up. Eyes are wide open as you look down the tip of your nose. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, hands to your hips. Prasarita Padottarasana D. Inhale, hands stay at your hips, lengthen your spine, lift your chest. Exhale, hinging from the hips, folding forward. Take your big toes with your index, middle finger, and thumbs. Inhale, look forward, straighten your arms, extend your body. And as you exhale, push down and out through the feet, tailbone lifts as you pull those toes forward with your gripped fingers and bend your elbows out and pull the crown of your head towards the floor. Feeling opposition one, tailbone presses up as the head pulls down. 
Opposition two, the feet press down and out as the tailbone presses up. Opposition three, the fingers pull as the elbows bend and the back squeezes as the elbows bend and you feel all of that engagement actively as you look to your nose. Deep, steady breaths, strong bandhas. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips and stay folded. On your next inhale, slowly come stand up with a straight back. And exhale, return back to Samastitehi, equal standing posture. On our third version, I'll demonstrate the full expression. Inhale, turn to your right hands to your hips. Exhale, fold forward, palms to the floor in line with your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine, straighten your arms, look forward. Exhale, folding forward, your elbows start to bend as you push down and forward through your hands into the earth, pressing your feet down and out, pushing your tailbone up tractioning your neck towards the floor, staying active in your body. Everything is engaged and working together, working with gravity, active muscular engagement, steady breath. As you take this posture and create all of these different points of opposition or tensegrity, you might find that you're able to straighten your legs. Just make sure you're not overstretching your hamstrings keeping your breath steady. You're doing such a great job. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, hands to your hips, but stay folded, please. Inhale, slowly lift your body all the way up with a flat back and exhale at the top. Prasarita Padottarasana B. Inhale, extend your arms out wide. Exhale, bring your hands back to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your head. And as you exhale, begin hinging from the hips, folding forward, pulling your elbows backward as you squeeze your back muscles and keep your head tractioning forward. For five deep breaths, you're working to press down and out through your feet as you push your tailbone up, maintaining that tensegrity through your legs so you don't overstretch anything. Squeezing the muscles in your back as you pull your elbows backwards. Tractioning your head as you traction your tailbone. Your breath is so steady. Find that balance and notice if your legs get a little straighter or fully straightened for you. One day that head touches the floor as well. Inhale, body rise. Exhale there. Prasarita Padottarasana C. Inhale, extend your arms out wide. Exhale, interlace your hands together behind you. Inhale, open your chest as you pull your hands down. Exhale, begin to fold forward, hinging from your hips, keeping your palms pressed together as you work to stretch your arms overhead while folding your body. And once you get into full position, utilizing all of those different points of opposition, work with your body and see how much deeper you can go. Perhaps your legs are straight. Perhaps your head touches the floor or your hands come close to the ground. And if not today, I promise you one day they will if you keep practicing. Keep your breath steady. Your eyes are wide open. Focus on Mulabandha. Keep utilizing all of those points of opposition. Beautiful job. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, hands back to your hips. Prasarita Padottarasana D. Inhale, lengthen your spine as your hands are at your hips. Exhale, begin to fold forward, hinging from your hips. Grab your big toes with your index, middle finger, and thumb. Inhale, straighten your back, straighten your arms, look forward. Exhale, begin to hinge from your hips and fold. You're bending your elbows out wide. You're pulling your toes forward with your gripped fingers, pulling the crown of your head towards the floor as you press your tailbone towards the ceiling. Pay most attention to my right shoulder and scapula in these postures for what you want your body to look like. Working with all these oppositions, feel those points of control, feel those points of weakness as well, and take note of them so we can work with them in every single practice we take. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, hands to your hips, but stay folded. 
Inhale, bring your body up to standing with a straight back. And exhale, return back to Samastitahi. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's postures as much as I do. They are part of the standing sequence that makes up the Ashtanga Yoga practice. And so these are poses you will practice daily if you become an Ashtanga Yoga practitioner. And what I mean by that is if you choose this to be your daily practice of choice, you can do any kind of yoga you want. It's your practice. I choose this practice because I love it. I love the independence and I love the freedom, but I also love the accountability. I love the progress. I love the security. I love everything this practice offers me. And so I choose it as my practice. And if you're at a point now, having come this far in the standing sequence, that you think maybe this is your practice, then welcome. Welcome to a wonderful journey in your life with a tool that helps you overcome absolutely everything and helps you find yourself in the process. So thank you for spending this time with me today. I hope you'll be adding this into your daily practice at home. And I'll see you next week. Namaste.